Good evening and from Iceline in Westchester, it is round two of the double A bracket of the Flyers Cup. It is the number three seed versus number six seed matchup here tonight. You're watching the Flyers Cup coverage of the Flyers Cup of 2024, which is of course sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. It's the number three seeded Boyertown Bears and the number six seeded CB South Titans. Both teams took care of business pretty handily in the first round. It's anyone's game here today. Two remarkably talented teams going right at it here tonight in this second round matchup. Someone's going to go home disappointed after this one. All powered by SFBN. Jordan Coons on the call here today. Thanks for climbing aboard here. Jump you right into the fire. Boyertown in the tan uniforms, red numbering, white lettering, and a black nameplate. For CB South, they're in the black uniforms with the blue trim, the white lettering, and numbering. Right off the bat, it's a chance here for the Boyertown Bears. And off the bat, it's Bryce Durstein with a shot that went wide. Durstein with four points in the effort on Tuesday. And Boyertown's victory over Pensbury in round one. Titans clear the zone. Puck comes all the way back into the Bears' end of the ice where it is Chase Ebersol. Started the scoring on Tuesday. His outlet couldn't get through, but on second effort it does to Durstein. He's at the end of his shift. He'll just cut into the middle and lose his possession of the puck. There to Sean Cutter as we have a whistle and we have... I believe too many men on the ice penalty. Yep. Sloppy change right off the bat for CB South. And an opportunity on the power play for Boyertown really early. Just 33, or rather 43 seconds into the action, a power play opportunity on a bench minor penalty taken by CB South. Face-off control by the Titans, but worked free by Weston Bieber for Boyertown. Out it comes to Cutillo at the point. Now it's Jack Strost. His shot blocked by Colin Mendham. Out high in the zone, and the puck cleared by the Titans back into the Boyertown end of the ice. First power play of the night. Their power play successful on Tuesday's win over Pensbury. Lots of good weapons out there for the Bears in tan. Once again, a pass off the mark and a clear by Aiden Linzo as the Bears get moving through center. Again, another dish off the mark. Mendham steals and will once again clear. Get it down into the Boyertown end of the ice. Tyler Griffith in the net for the Bears. Sets things up at the other end of the ice. It's Nathan Napolitano. Picked up the win and their Tuesday victory over Avangrove. Here's Bryce Durstein into the attacking zone, swings it behind the net, 56 seconds left on this first Boyertown power play. Durstein checked by Linso, his pass back to the point, tipped off the stick of Jeffrey Kvetcher, goes after that loose puck, gets to it, and will send it down in on goal. Now once again, this CB South penalty kill doing wonders here on their first opportunity. 36 seconds left of the power play. Brought in over the line by Dylan Rennick. Makes a nice move into the middle, but then loses possession of the puck. Another clear by the Titans. And that'll pretty much give one more opportunity to rush up ice for Boyertown on their first power play of the night. Ebersole with a dish up. And here's Durstein down the middle. Cuts wide right into the attacking zone. Centers one, and it goes through the crease. Ebersole in at the point. Seven seconds left of the power play. Cotillo to Durstein. Back it goes, Cotillo. Boyertown set up, shot attempt blocked on route. Centering dish on a second effort is sent out to center where DJ Lindenmuth, the captain of the Titans, deflects into the Boyertown under the ice. Stifled there, but now CB South can really settle things down and get possession. First power play, done. And Boyertown did not register a shot on goal on that power play. Snapped up the boards, intercepted, sent towards the net, but blocked en route as once again the Titans forced to clear. Overskated by Gabe Brown. Jack Strost in control for Boyertown. Watched by Kvetcher and Lindenmuth. Bank to center. Linso steps up for the Titans. 
And they finally have control. CB South into the attacking zone with Joey Slobodian. He's tripped en route. Arm stays down. We play on as the Bears get it to center. Brown, a chip play off the boards, but taken right back by the Titans. Sauce to center, and Linden Booth has it there. Leading scorer on this Titans club. Backhands it out of the zone. 13 minutes, 13 seconds gone here in this open, or rather left in this first period. We're not that far into the opening period just yet. As the puck ends up in control of the Titans for a second, but Drost has it back for Boyertown. Not really shocked there's a feeling out period between these two teams right now, trying to get a sense of what the other team will try to do here. One shot on goal being credited right now to CB South, and I believe it was just off a dump in from center. So nothing really in terms of sustained offensive pressure for either club right now. Beaver throws it on goal. Napolitano paddles that into the corner. Titans have it back with J.D. Crouch. And around it'll go on the dasher for Peter Herring, tied up defensively by two Boyertown four checkers, but eventually it's the Titans who will work free. Can they get their first opportunity in the offensive zone? Bring it in, Sean Cutter. Watched off to the outside by Cotillo. A centering dish comes to Mendham, and he forks it over top of the net. Goes out of play and into the netting. This is the 2024 Flyers Cup. Double-A matchup between the number three-seeded Boyertown Bears and the number six-seeded Central Bucks South Titans. First of two games here on this ice sheet. After this, it'll be a battle between a reigning finalist in the single-A bracket, the Hershey Trojans, and the Springfield Cougars. Kvetcher knocked down, a penalty call up coming. It is spotted by the trailing official, and this time it'll be CB South who heads to the power play as Tyler Griffith makes the save on a weak backhander from the left wing side. So... A chance now for the Titans to work on the power play as Boyertown's penalty kill goes to work for the first time tonight. In to take the draw, Mendham wins it back for CB South as they're set up on the power play. Mendham as Fry in front decides to set up behind the net, rolls it to the back. Here's an opportunity for Jake Stepp, sets up Cutter, shot attempt blocked. Comes back to the point, Stepp keeps in for the Titans. Around to the right side for Jeffrey Kvetcher, and they rotate it back out. Stepp fakes the shot, hands it off, cross box it goes, Cutter to the back, shot attempt blocked again. Looks like Kvetcher got in the way of some friendly fire, Mendham. Right to the front of the net, Fry a chance, and a great stop there. Tyler Griffith seals it up, no rebound. 34 seconds into the first power play for CB South. This broadcast is presented by the Flyers Cup and SFBN, who own all broadcast rights. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this game, including social media, is strictly prohibited. A draw win once again for the Titans. Here's Linso. Hands it off to Lindenmuth. Gives it on to the goal line as the Titans are set up. Linso. Lindenmuth. Slap pass through the reach of Montagna at the side of the net. Pop now to Logan Hood. Now Slobodrian. Left point. To the top it comes Linso. Now Lindenmuth. Base of the circle. Sharp angle try. Wide of the net. And ends up as a clear for Boyertown as a result. Final minute here, this first power play turned over. Here's Brown down, Broadway scores! A shorthanded goal for Boyertown off of a giveaway by the Titans. Logan Brown's first to the Flyers' cup gets things started for the number three seed. A pass up the middle, deflected off the stick of Lindenmuth, and Brown makes no mistake over the glove hand of the goaltender, Nathan Napolitano. 1-0 Boyertown. That is a, an unassisted goal on the turnover as Jack Strost skates in. Shot blocked off the left pad 
of Napolitano as the puck is cleared out to center. So Boyertown gets the first goal, and it's short-handed. As Logan Brown, who scored eight goals during the regular season, picks up his first of the Flyers' Cup. CB South with possession now. The, with the urgency to get the power play moving right now might be elevated a bit after seeding the shorthanded goal. Here's Mendham spinning in place. Drops it off to Kvetcher. Top of the right wing circle. Out to step at the point. One-timer coming, and Griffith has that one. No traffic, no problem. Council Rock South leading Cherokee 3 to 1, 16 minutes left in the second. Westchester East after one period of play has a 1-0 lead. They are the reigning single A Flyers Cup champions. Here's Cutillo into the attacking zone. Noah Cutillo from an angle. Trying to center. It was off the side of the net. Titans get to it, elevate off the glass and get it down ice. Boyer Town leads CB South as you see here 1-0. Garnet Valley and Pencrest starting in just a few minutes. Durstein will flop this one in from center. Heads right towards the net front, and Napolitano will cover it there. Couple of shout-outs coming on the Boyertown side of things, including Chase Ebersol, four-year varsity player for Boyertown, who wears number 52. He was selected as an all-star defenseman for the ISCHL Pioneer Division. His family and friends wish him a happy 18th birthday, which was yesterday, and best of luck in the Flyers' Cup. And his Boyertown Bears hold the one nothing lead after one period of play. Or as of right now, nine minutes left in that first period. Here's DJ Lindenmuth off to the angle. Wrist shot on goal, save Griffith. Rebound cleared to the line. Slobodrian keeps it in. Lindenmuth there for the Titans. A wrister blocked by the aforementioned Ebersole. Here's Slobodrian for the Titans. Off the cycle, it goes to Lindenmuth behind the net. Centering dish, nobody home. Jack Strost will bring it back out for Boyertown in the midst of a two-on-two. Driving wide, Drost, a backhander off the side of the net, gets his own rebound. Drive it back in behind the net. Worked in front, no luck, comes to the line. Ryan McGuffin, around it'll go for Joey Bellotta. Tied up with Drost there in short order support, ends up with possession of the puck. Drost, checked by Kunkel, it comes to the side of the net. A sharp angle try off the netting. And collected by the Titans, who will look to clear. They will get it to center. 8.05 left opening period. And right back to the attack comes Ebersole. The flop shot goes wide of Napolitano's crease. Step to the rebound for the Titans. Adorned in black here this evening. Poke through center. Hard hit thrown. And it's a chance here for the Titans. Mendham right wing. Shooting one. And Griffith the save. Paddled into the corner. Boyertown comes up with possession of the puck, and here it is for Zach Rosen, who scored a nifty goal in Tuesday's win over Pensbury. Tied up there defensively. Step in control of things for the Titans. Pirouettes away from a check. They have possession of the puck. Montagna will elevate this to center for CB South. Cut off by Ebersole, who steps up on the play and gets it to center. Shots favoring the Titans 6-4. They've had a couple opportunities here in the first period, but the only goal is a shorthanded tally by Logan Brown. To the net, deflected off Ebersole. Second effort, Fetcher no luck. A third opportunity in front, and Keith Waldron couldn't get it to the net. Out to eight, and Linzo steps into one. Blocker saved by Griffith, and the rebound cleared out to the safety of center. CB South touches right back up as they move in. On to the right side. Linso centers. That's blocked. Boyertown brings it back. Two on two. It's Cotillo with an opportunity. Steps a shot, and Napolitano makes the save. Puck into the corner. Fight on for that. One aside. Linso is there defensively for the Titans. Kicks it free. Backhands it up the middle. It's turned over. Shot by Rennick. Blocked second effort in Napolitano. A huge save on the second chance opportunity for Durstein. Brought back in transition by the Titans. Mendham 
Has worked off a nice nifty stick check there as the Bears get to center. Sauced across to Cotillo. Noah Cotillo fires one blocker save by Napolitano. And the Titans clear the zone. 1-0 Boyertown if you're just tuning in. Under six minutes gone in the first period. Quick up off a stick. Down all the way it'll go wide of the CB South net and icing. Coverage of the 2024 Flyers Cup, sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. 544 to go first period, shot seven apiece. one nothing Boyertown on the shorthanded goal by Logan Brown. Titans control the faceoff for a second. Slobodrian overskates, though. And Bellotta has it back for the Boyertown Bears and cleared out to center. Herring. Turns it over, but the puck eventually ends up in the Boyertown end of the ice. In control of it is Brendan Cotillo. Spilled, puck centered, Fry there. Shot was blocked, Slobodri into the rebound. Picks up Fry, a backhander save, rebound, and Griffith makes the second chance stop as well. The opportunity was there for Ryan Montagna. But it was Tyler Griffith there for the save on one try and make it a second. It keeps it a one nothing Boyertown lead. Transitioning Brown, two on two with Pilata. Brown skates by one, takes the shot. A save made in the rebound tonight as well by Napolitano. Titans get to the rebound and move it out to the neutral zone. Kvetcher will send in from the red line deep into Boyertown territory. McGuffin off the boards to Bieber. Short route it comes. Here's Bellotta. Two on two with Drost. They crisscross. Bellotta in. Tried to drop it off. He'll ring it around the boards. Step there for the Titans. Cuts off that opportunity. And we'll have to get things settled down for CB South. Though an outlet dish goes off the mark. And icing is the call. Faceoff will come back down into the Boyertown end. Ryan McGuffin has anchored the Bears varsity defense for four years. Last year was a first team all pioneer division selection and second team all league. He'll be playing ACHA hockey for Division I Duquesne in the Pittsburgh area. So congratulations to him on his commitment. Chase Ebersole from center. Pass off target. Titans bring it back with step. Try to chip it in chase. Couldn't get through the Boyertown defense. Pass goes off target. Linso will take it ahead of Schreiber. Linso will drop it back around into his own zone. Four minutes left in the first period. 1-0 on the goal by Logan Brown. A shorthanded tally for the Boyertown Bears. McGuffin at the point. Ebersole takes the pass. Shoots the puck through a screen in front. Well, rattles wide of the target. Titans will clear. Ebersole on an outlet dish finds Weston Bieber. He scored on Tuesday. He'll flop the puck into the attacking zone as Boyertown changes up lines. The number three seed in the lead, 1-0. If you're just tuning into the Flyers Cup action here in the double-A bracket, second round, three versus six. Here's a turnover. It's Noah Cutillo, a backhand pass. Wasn't looking, but he had someone back door. It was just off the mark. Turned back by DJ Lindenmuth. Nice little outside inside move. Cuts right to the goal. And a save made by Griffith. He'll hold on to the rebound. Nice little piece of business right there by DJ Lindenmuth. Leads to a stoppage and a faceoff in the Boyertown end of the ice. Durstein, Boyer's or rather Boyertown's captain, slapped it to try and clear the zone. Couldn't do so. On second effort, it comes out to neutral. Bumped right back in off the stick of Herring. Collected by the Bears, but turned over on the far wall. Second effort, they're able to move ahead. Here it is for Luke Hennessy. Driving wide on the defense, held up a bit by Herring, but Cutillo takes control of things for Boyertown. Out to Remick. 
And he will once again drive it deeper along for Hennessy, who takes the hit once again, able to peel off of it. Bank to the back for Remick at the right point. Shot tipped on goal in the Peloton of the save. Durstein lurking again. Thwarted once again by the CB South goaltender. Two twenty-five left in the first period, and a one-nothing Boyertown lead. Two twenty left, first one-nothing Boyertown. To center, Kvetcher, unable to get through, and it is the Bears that will clear. Aiden Linso at control. And here's Kvetcher again on side, loses possession immediately after entering the attacking zone. And so lofts this right back into the Boyer 10 under the ice. Remick set things up. Off the half wall to come up the near side for Drost. And he'll chip in. Brown will give chase. He's the only goal scorer for Boyer 10 at this point. Drost in on the four check, tried to feed it out in front. That's taken away by CB South. The number six seed will get the legs moving through center. Though immediately thwarted by Dylan Remick defensively. Here's Lucas Remick. And now Dylan. Up ice Drost. Battling a bouncing biscuit. Picks up Brown. Tried to slice through the defense. Got hooked on route. Penalty call up coming against CB South. It's a high sticking penalty. So a stick got up. Power play Boyertown for the second time. Here this evening. 124 left in the period. So if the Bears are unable to score here, it would lead to a power play that would bleed into the second period. Durstein, the captain, wins the faceoff back for Boyertown. Shot blocked. Second effort. Through the legs, backhander shut off by Napolitano and cleared the rest of the way down. Here's Ebersole. Stick handles by one as he advances for Boyertown. Into the attacking zone, stops up and peels away from Lindenmoot. Cross the box, it'll come. One more. And that's off target. And the puck cleared out of play into the CB South bench. Under a minute to play here in the period. 129 left on this power play opportunity for Boyertown. Slammed off the boards and out to Lindenmoot. And he just absolutely trucks McGuffin, gets to the puck anyway. In for the Titans, wraps the net. Tried to shank that one off. Couldn't quite get that away from the traffic. And so Boyertown will try to reload here. Ebersole holding onto the puck here in front of the Bears bench and looking for something to develop. Picks up Durstein. He's been dangerous today. Can he come up with something now? He centers the puck out in front and Remick denied by Napolitano. Picked up by Hennessy. Out to the point. McGuffin unloads the gun and a save made by the Titans goaltender Napolitano and cleared by Lindenmoot. Quick up with three seconds left in the period. One more try is going to head wide of the net as the first period comes to an end. In this second round matchup, Boyertown holds the lead 1-0 on the shorthanded goal by Logan Brown. Coverage of the 2024 Flyers Cup. Sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Do you know what a blue hen is? It's prideful. Spirited. Fiery. A blue hen never backs down challenge and we're there to support them delaware orthopedic specialist the official orthopedic partner 
of University of Delaware Athletics. Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the Sports Fan Base Network. If you're a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAYEASY. Back here at Ice Line, the score one nothing Boyertown. Tally by Logan Brown, short-handed. We head right into the second period. It will be the Bears heading right to left, the Titans left to right. Penalty kill still for 30 seconds. Titans have possession off the bat, but the Bears have it back in their own zone. Trying to get this power play working. Neither team could really get anything going on their man advantage. In fact, it was CB South that seeded a goal on their power play. Short-handed. Hennessy drops. Dirtstein's in, and he's shut off at the top of the crease. Is Napolitano 30 seconds deep into the second period. Just six seconds remain on the power play for Boyertown. The number three seed in the double-A bracket. We'll have a second 3-6 matchup coming up after this game's conclusion. Hershey and Springfield in the single-A bracket. McGuffin will lead this into the right-wing circle. Hash set up into the middle, and Bieber's shot was denied entry. Lindenmuth able to clear, got interfered with a bit. It's cleared back down. Penalty's over, back to even strength as Cutter will gain possession of the puck. He'll chip in. Mendham gives chase for the Titans. Cleared and then turned over. Cutter around the boards, shot off there by McGuffin. Puck comes to Ebersole on the near side, turned over, flipped in front, blocked, and cleared out to neutral. Herring in control for the Titans. will clear it right back in. Shots 11 apiece. Minute and 20 seconds into the second period. 1-0. Logan Brown's goal shorthanded, the only one to this point. Here it is for Rosen. Up the middle of the ice. Picks up Havrilla. Couldn't dangle past the defender. Titans moving in transition. Run over the line by Fry. Picks up Cutter. Top of the left wing circle. Back to Fry. Will they play give and go? The shot blocked. Second chance. Lifted over top of the net. Cleared back to the point. Here's Kunkel with it. Steps into one and missed the target. Pinching in his herring, keeps it in. Throws one towards the net. Partially deflected wide of the goal. Rosen picks up that puck and finds Durstein. Skate the stick, but he couldn't enter in cleanly. Slobodrian on the rebound, can't get out. Brought back in by Rosen. A defended well off of a miscue. Hard hit thrown by Herring on Cotillo as the puck ends up in Boyertown control. Durstein stops, left circle, hands it across. Hennessy a drive, and that deflected off a stick and wide of the goal. Both of these teams using active sticks. Remick into the middle, fires one, and Napolitano steers that into the corner. Slobodrian there for the Titans, along with Fry, who steps away from a check and then gets hit by Durstein. Puck turned over. Hennessy a try for the Bears blocked. Durstein gets it back. Shot stopped in the second chance. Napolitano there with the right pad. Out to Cotillo. Wrist shot blocked. Trouble the other way. Here's Slobodrian. He loses an edge. Otherwise, he could have been gone. Both teams change as the Bears look to exit their zone. Kicked by Cotillo. On to the right wing side. It'll come. Brought by Logan Brown. The game's only goal belongs to him, and he is stopped. By Napolitano. One-nothing Boyertown. They've got the offensive zone face-off here. Off to the left of goaltender Nathan Napolitano. Went six and three at 2.83 goals against average and an 876 save percentage during the regular season for CB South. Kvetcher 
Off the mark for Hood. He split the goal crease with Dominic Vericalo. Both of them pretty similar numbers, so goes to show that Team plays fairly consistently on a night to night basis. Titans can't clear. Brown off the steal, walks middle and shoots. Napolitano the save. Guides this to the half wall on the near side. Boyertown smelling blood here off of that turnover. That is how they were able to first the rather force the first goal of the game. Held in at the point by Dylan Remick. Physically pushed all the way back into neutral ice. Fetcher in a three on two for the Titans. Quickly developing, lets the shot go and miss the net. Big Karam comes all the way back down into CB South territory. Linden Muth, the captain, stick handles by one. Tries to make it two and he gets hauled down. Penalty call up coming against Boyertown. There goes Napolitano to the bench for the extra attacker. Centering pass in front, deflected. Touched up by the Bears. Power play coming up for the Titans and a chance to make up for a mistake in the first period. DJ Lindenmuth just jumped off the bench and created that opportunity out of nowhere. Joey Bellotta ends to the penalty box, the guilty party. Power play on for CB South. 1-0 the Bears lead on a shorthanded goal by Logan Brown and off the faceoff. Bit of a tug, but we play on as Slobodrian is tied up in neutral ice by McGuffin. Follow-up comes from Montagna. Out to Lindenmuth now the right wing wall. Sets up shop to the top Linzel. Now Montagna, base of the circle at a severe angle. Lindenmuth takes the pass for the Titans. At the top, Linso, wrist shot blocked. McGuffin off the shin pad there. And Durstein will take his patient sweet time and clear the zone back down into the CB South end of the ice. Power play is 40 seconds deep already for CB South, and it's another turnover. Cotillo picks up Durstein. Back it goes Cotillo. Save made by Napolitano while scrambling. The second chance opportunity rings the goal post with a yawning four by six. A remarkably close call for CB South off a turnover at the side of the net. Napolitano made the key save there. And on that try, Durstein, while not even looking at the net, had an opportunity, but it hits the goal post and it stays out. Remains a 1-0 Bears lead with 105 left on this power play, 11-20 left in the second period. To center, it's Cutter as the Titans gain the zone on right wing. Cutter into the corner, has Fry behind the net. Sets up shop there. Now it'll come to the point to step. Juggles straight away in this umbrella power play, shooting, and Griffith sees that with no trouble. No traffic in front, usually no problem. Forty-four seconds remain on this power play for CB South, their second one of the night. Step, backhand dish to Kvetcher. Top of the right wing circle as they play some catch. Montagna, step. Now Fry holding, shooting. Pad stop made by Griffith. The rebound into the corner for Cutter. Centering dish off Bieber and cleared by the Bears the distance. One more rush on this power play for CB South. Outlet to Cutter, and then drop back. Denham. Left circle hash as the power play expires. Step at the top, shoots, tipped on goal. Stop made Griffith, rebound poked right out in front, and Fry couldn't get that chance to the net. Back to five on five. Bears scrambling in their own zone. They'll get a friendly bounce and a clear out to center ice. Here's Cutter driving in wide. Comes out the other side and will lead it to Slobodrian. 
Back in behind the goal, Slobodrian tries to cut it in front, decides to hold on to things. Along the left wing wall, Schreiber keeps him off to the outside, eventually cleared to the line, not out. Held in by Lindenmuth, second effort, diving though, Bieber clears the zone. Nine and a half to play second period. one nothing Boyertown. It's a low-scoring affair between two high-scoring teams. Jack Strost in his own zone looks to pick up speed. His pass tipped, and it rattles out to center. Brendan Cotillo in control. No play to be seen. Sent back down. Must have hit. A tightened stick, no icing here. Turned over, shot, save, rebound, up for grabs. It's Drost, tried to put it through the goal mouth. It had scribbed, rather squibbed right through the pads of Napolitano. The Boyertown bench not happy. They wanted that play to continue, but we've got a penalty call upcoming. A slashing call has been assessed against Boyertown. Jack Strost will sit. It's a power play again for Central Bucks South. 8.52 left in the second period and a glorious opportunity for the number six seed to tie the game. Lindenmuth off the draw, shoots one. A stop made by Griffith, rebound to the near side and cleared. Down to center, racing after it. Durstein cuts middle short-handed. Rister blocked by Aiden Linso. Driving around the boards, Hennessy off the bench. Able to keep possession for a second, but back come the Titans in a three on two. Slobodrian to Lindenmuth, left wing. Tried to dangle, Slobodrian picks up the carom. Back it'll go to the point, shot by Linso, blocked. That's trouble. The other way come the Bears, it's Hennessy. Has help with him. Hennessy drops. Durstein holds. Back it goes. Hennessy safe made by Napolitano. Tried to bank it, and it does. It is yet another shorthanded goal for the Boyertown Bears, who lead it 2-0. It started as a three-on-two opportunity. It looks like that one went off of Ryan McGuffin in the goal crease. And it's now 2-0 Boyertown off of two shorthanded goals. So now the Titans have to work not only from one behind, make it two with special teams being the difference in a bad way. Here's Cutter, top of the left circle for the Titans. Out to step straight away. Cradles the puck and holds onto it. Shoots, looking for the tip by Fry. Sailed wide of the goal. 50 seconds left on the power play. Cutter holding onto it. Across the box, Kvetcher. Right circle hash. He'll back away. Hands it along to the goal line. Taken here by Fry. Cross it'll go one touch. Step to the top. Comes to Fry at the right dot. Holding and shooting. Griffith the save. Rebound and jumped the stick. Of a CB South player, it's a two-on-one the other way. Again, shorthanded. Brought down the wing and sauce to Cotillo, and it hits the goal post. Noah Cotillo could not settle down that bouncing biscuit. Otherwise, it could have been 3 nothing on three shorthanded goals. Titans are offside of the offensive blue. Whoa. Titans get away with one there, certainly. So close again to giving up a third shorthanded goal here tonight. That would have been disastrous. Penalty is over as of right now. Drost is out of the box with 6.50 to go in the second period of a 2 nothing. Boyertown lead the number three seed in the lead. Bieber peels away from a check, gets bumped off the puck, 
by Slobodry and it's centered to Lindenmuth and Griffith is there. He holds on to the puck. Council Rock South continues to lead in their game over Cherokee, four to one. Pencrest over Garnet Valley, one nothing. It's two nothing here if you're just tuning into the action. Logan Brown and Ryan McGuffin are your goal scorers to this point. McGuffin from Durstein at 8.15. The second period. Titans force a steal off a failed clear by the Bears. Fry right to the front of the net. Overskated by Linden Moot, then brought back in transition by the Bears. A backhand sent into the attacking zone by Lucas Remick. Down to the deck goes Havrilla on the four check as it's popped free by Rosen. Stick handles by one. Top of the left circle, circumnavigates into the high slot, and he'll drive it in below the goal line. Herring there, taking a task again by Havrilla. Roughed up a bit by Cutter. It's centered out in front, taken away by the Titans, who move out in a three-on-two. Up the right side, it's Linden move, holding onto it and shooting. Gets deflected, gets it right back. Griffith the save. Second chance, a yawning net. It's blocked in front, still up for grabs along the goal line. They continue to hack away at it. No whistle, it comes back to the point. Linso to step, holds and fires. Penalty comp coming in, it's against Boyertown. Whoa! It was Griffith who committed there on that save opportunity. Lindenmuth then came across the net front and his second bid towards the goal was blocked. And it led to a penalty out of all of that commotion. I think CB South asking here if that puck was covered in the goal crease by an open glove. If that is the case, that would end up as a penalty shot. But it will remain a power play for the Titans here. And boy... After allowing two shorthanded goals, do you need one to go for you here? I'd say absolutely. 2 nothing. Boyertown, the number three seed in the lead here on SFBN's coverage of the 2024 Flyers Cup. Sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Here's Step. He'll give it off and get it back. Straight away, Step. Hands it to the right circle. Fry couldn't handle the bouncing pocket. Step. Now hands off. Here's Linso to Step. Drags and shoots, blocked by Ebersole. Cleared, but not out, held in at least once. But Boyertown presses the issue, and Logan Brown on the penalty kill clears all the way into the Titans' end of the ice. 125 left on this power play for the Titans. Some giddy up and go, passes on to Fry, lit up as he tried to enter the attacking zone. It's sent down the distance once again by the Bears' penalty kill. Gross loses an edge as Fry enters the attacking zone, and he'll send it around the boards. Bears get there first and have plenty of time to send out to center. Linso had trouble tracking down that loose puck. It comes on now for an opportunity for Dros that's blocked away by Napolitano. Bears send it back to their defense here with McGuffin, not given a lot of time and space to work with here. Forced to peel off against three four checkers. He turns it over. Here is an opportunity for the Titans and a backhander by Fry is shut off by Griffith. 30 seconds left on the power play for the Titans, which has come up empty and has gone minus two. A face-off to the left of goaltender Tyler Griffith, who had a sub two goals against average during the regular season for the Boyertown Bears. Power play still on for 20 seconds. Montagna and Lindenmuth play some catch. Montagna 
Back around the boards, intercepted by Remick, and cleared off the short class the distance. One more rush here for the Central Buck South power play with their captain, DJ Lindenmuth, in control. Pass off target, and Boyertown has it. Transitioning here is Bryce Durstein, who lets it go. Napolitano the save. Puck cleared to the line. Hennessy keeps it in. Durstein behind the back. Look to Cotillo, holding onto it and shooting one. A blocker saved by Napolitano. Montagna will elevate this out to center. Into the teeth of the Boyertown defense. It's sent back deep by Lindenmuth. Race on for the puck opposite Remick. Lindenmuth gets to the puck right circle. Dangles around one and then loses possession. Durstein back the other way for the Bears. A three on two. He sends it across. Hennessy lifts it over top of the net. Hennessy will send it right back. Here come the Bears quickly. Cotillo in. And a save made by Napolitano. Cleared back down by Central Buck South. It's an icing. Two quick opportunities for Boyertown. Bang, bang, it remains 2-0 in favor of the number three seeded Bears. Hennessy close to his first of the tournament. He picked up two assists in the victory on Tuesday over Pensbury in the first round. Still anyone's game in this one, 2-14 left in the second period. Two really talented teams going at it here, but special teams the difference right now. Rosen right into the middle. Bieber lets it go. It's deflected over top of the net by Herring. Bieber tracks it down in the corner. Kvitscher helps out there defensively for the Titans. Up for grabs. Bears end up with it and driven back in behind the net by Rosen, but taken away just that quickly by CB South. Here's Kvetcher. Now it's Hood down the middle of the ice, defended away nicely by Remick. Herring from center just slams it in on goal. It's deflected off the paddle of Tyler Griffith up and out of play. Two nothing in this game. Elsewhere, Council Rock South leading Cherokee five to one. Westchester East over Unionville one nothing. Haverford against Downingtown West. Downingtown East and Penridge, Springfield, and Hershey is the back end of our doubleheader here. Lower Dauphin and Marple Newtown are later tonight. Step, Fry, and a skipper in on goal. Griffith the save, tracked down by Slobodrian as the Titans end up with it. Centering pass is deflected away. Just over a minute to go here in the second period. Comes onto the stick of Dylan Remick. Tied up by Fry in the final minute now. In the control of Jake Stepp. And now it's Slobodrian. Cross ice dish, it's Fry. In with Mendham. Gives him the pass. Mendham denied entry by McGuffin. Help comes from Fry. Centers it out in front. Backhander by Slobodrian was blocked by McGuffin. Doing it all defensively on this shift. Ties up his defender. Comes back to the line though. Held in by the Titans. Wrists are blocked. Second chance is fired through the crease. That was Linso with that first chance. 27 seconds left in the period. 2-0 Boyertown. Mendham from an angle. Shot attempt blocked by McGuffin and cleared out to center. Linso wheels it right back in from whence it came with 15 seconds left in the second period of a 2-0 Bears lead. McGuffin off the boards, picks up Drost, speeds one in from the red line, defended well, but turned right back over. Drost in on Linso, shoots one into the catching glove of Napolitano as the second period ends. Two shorthanded goals, the difference in this one as Boyertown heads to the intermission up by a pair over CB South, the number six seed in the double-A bracket of the 2024 Flyers Cup. Well, we've got some good stuff for you in the team store. As my broadcast partner back in my Millersville days said, always order top shelf. Well, you can order top shelf at the Top Shelf Sports and Apparel Store. 
Plenty of Flyers Cup goodies for you there. Head to the Flyers Cup website or to the address at the bottom of your screen to order now. This broadcast is presented by the Flyers Cup and SFBN, who own all broadcast rights. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this game, including social media, is strictly prohibited. Your surprisingly great rates? Contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Eldion Pagulary in Feasterville, Trevose today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi, I'm Marty Bystrom, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. In my experience in Major League Baseball, I know how important it is for high school athletes to gain exposure. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you are a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAY-EASY. Hey Flyers fans, baseball's right around the corner. Your Trenton Thunder begin their jam-packed season with an opening night celebration on Tuesday, June 4th. Come out for our Margaritaville weekend from June 7th through the 9th. Be a part of our heart-healthy night on June 25th and celebrate the 4th of July at the Thunder. Daily specials return with dollar hot dogs and kids eat free Tuesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Cases Pork Roll Fridays, and fireworks most Thursdays and Saturdays. There is something going on at every Thunder game in 2024. Get your tickets at TrentonThunder.com. Blue Stein, Michael & Company certified public accountants believe that your bottom line is as important to them as it is to you. Why? because they care about the things that you care about. Whereas most accountants can take your numbers and put them on financial statements and tax returns, Blue Stein and Michael work with you through the year to help you solve problems by providing sound professional advice. They enable you to make key business decisions and they are with you throughout the entire year, not just tax time. Blue Stein and Michael are not just hired hands. They are part of your team, and they provide professional service when you need it most. Blue Stein and Michael specialize in accounting, tax, and consulting services for small businesses, primarily for the construction industry. If you're looking for yes men, hire someone else. But if you want sound advice from service-oriented CPAs, then you'll want to call Blue Stein and Michael at 215-635-3200. That's Blue Stein and Michael at 215-635-3200. Do you know what a blue hen is? It's prideful. Spirited. Fiery. A blue hen never backs down from a challenge. And we're there to support them. Delaware Orthopedic Specialist, the official orthopedic partner of University of Delaware Athletics. Haddon Planning Group is an independent financial advisory firm serving all Flyers fans across the country. Located in Pennsylvania since 1981, we will offer a free financial plan to all parents of student-athletes participating in the Flyers Cup. For more information about our services, go to HaddonPlanning.com or call Jake Reardon at 856-428-5300.
Senior Chase Ebersole is a four-year varsity player for Boyertown. He was selected as an all-star defenseman for the ISCHL Pioneer Division. His family and friends wished him a happy 18th birthday during our game on Tuesday. It was yesterday. And, of course, best of luck in the Flyers' Cup in his future college hockey career. Defenseman Ryan McGuffin has anchored the varsity defense for four years. Last year, first team all Pioneer Division and second team all league in the ICSHL. This fall, he'll be playing D1 club at Duquesne University. Jordan Coons on the call here tonight from Iceline AAA rink here in Westchester. Boyertown with two tallies, both short-handed. Logan Brown with the first one. Ryan McGuffin, who we outlined in that little break right there with the second goal, both again short-handed. Start the third period at five on five here. Looking at the goals here this first time around, that giveaway right there proved costly. It was off the stick of Lindenmuth right to Brown who converted and then on this second one, an odd man rush, which turned into a broken play pretty quickly. Durstein's been all around it all night. He tried to bank it in here, and it went off the skate of McGuffin, who entered the play. And past the goaltender, Napolitano, for the 2-0 advantage for Boyertown. Coverage of the 2024 Flyers Cup, sponsored by Top Shelf sports and apparel. All this good stuff you see on your screen could be yours. Head to the Flyers Cup official website or at the address at the bottom of your screen. I'm a big fan of that hoodie in the top left. Well, it all comes down to this. We've got a Boyertown team here that Generally has played really well throughout the game. Their special teams appears to be the difference in this one. Not to say CB South hasn't had their opportunities tonight because they sure have. But they've been unable to solve the goaltender in the crease for Boyertown, Tyler Griffith, who has made all 19 saves he's needed to this point. 18 of 19 for Napolitano. Boyertown in the tan. They go left to right here in the third period. Right to left go the black clad Central Bucks. South Titans, we have a whistle and we have a penalty immediately off the bat. 12 seconds in, it's a cross check and it's against the Titans. Power play Boyertown and a huge chance to put this even further away. That is DJ Lindenmuth, the CB South captain in the penalty box for cross-checking on a hit delivered along the end wall. And a power play here for the Bears with their captain Durstein on the faceoff here. Ebersole, Hennessy, McGuffin, and Dylan Remick. McGuffin on a face-off win, left the puck behind, but he picks up Ebersole, right wing, snaps a shot, and Napolitano with the save there. He'll hold on to it. With traffic developing out in front, may have been going wide anyway, but best not to leave that to chance. Back half of our doubleheader is Hershey and Springfield in the single-A bracket. McGuffin, and now it's Ebersole in control for the Bears. Right circle, McGuffin straight away, shooting, score! Ryan McGuffin from downtown. It's a power play goal, and Boyertown leads it three to nothing here in the third. I don't think Napolitano ever saw it with two layers of a screen out in front of him. I don't think that one was tipped, and the point back by Durstein tells the story. Ryan McGuffin's second tonight and second of the tournament overall comes 35 seconds into the third period, and the number three seeded Bears have a 3 0 lead.
Ever saw the primary assist as the Bears have iced it here. And the Titans with a faceoff in the offensive zone here as a result. So special teams, the difference. Linden Muth away from Rosen. Taps it in behind the net. Here's a dish that's blocked, intended for Fry. Slobodrian keeping the zone for the Titans. Help comes from the Bears defensively, and the puck is clear. A minute and 20 seconds into the third period. Boyertown with the only goal here of the third, a power play goal from their captain, Ryan McGuffin, with a pair of tallies tonight. Icing, the call here. So, I imagine the course correction here for CB South is going to have to hinge on taking more chances, getting more pucks to the net. And if you take chances, that means you're going to give up chances. Wouldn't be surprised to see Odd man rushes the other way if CB South looks to press the issue here. Montagna from an angle, fires one wide. Step in from the point, keeps it alive. Cutter to the net front, wide of the net. Here's Linso pinching in for the Titans to leave it in below the goal line. Taken by Mendham, collected by Montagna behind the net, wraps the goal, tucks it on for Mendham on the backhand. To Montagna, base of the circle, Another sharp angle bid, deflected wide of the goal. Cutter for the Titans, evades Cotillo's check. Up the boards, kept in by Linso. Point to point out of the reach of Step. Steps into it and shoots. Stick save Griffith. Big rebound, he got that one too. Third opportunity, oh, a wonderful save. Make it a fourth. And Montagna misses the net. Spike to the line, kept in by Linso. To Cutter, all Titans on this shift, Cutter. Leads it down low, gets the return in front, out to Montagna, and he fires it wide. Linso in from the point. CB South pressing, but they give up the puck. It's cleared back down. It's an icing against Boyertown. Easily the best chance of the night, but Tyler Griffith composed in the net, makes the saves, and keeps it out. Bears control the D-zone draw, and out they come. It is Hennessy driving through but loses possession of the puck. McGuffin, who has a pair of tallies tonight, able to weave by two, chip in, and chase right in after that. Step to get, rather, Linso, sorry, rocked off the puck by McGuffin in on the forecheck. Popped free by the Bears. Out to Durstein. Boyertown captain gives to Hennessy. In the high slot, spins a shot that missed the net. Puck comes up to Waldron as the Titans send it down the ice through the reach of Kvetcher. One-on-one here against McGuffin, who erases him into the end wall. Ebersole in control. Near side, Cotillo. Pass tipped by Durstein. Couldn't corral that. DJ Linden Muth in control for CB South. Try to cross-corner dump in. That is... Canceled out by Ebersole. Lifted up the left wing for Durstein racing onto this. Able to peel off and trying to get it right to the front to Hennessy. He overskates and the Titans move out with Slobodrian. Has Linden move behind him, gives him the puck right wing. Toe drags around a man, gets the shot away and Griffith makes the save and gets bumped into on the rebound. Probably not a lovely feeling there for sure. He is back up, though. And the net comes off its pegs and a face-off in the Boyertown defensive zone. 12.56 left third period, and the Titans trail it three to nothing. Going to rule it. The net was knocked off intentionally by CB South, so this will lead to a face-off out at center. Linden move, 
Driving in on the back can. It's deflected down. Loose puck at the side of the net, and it would not go. Another opportunity through the crease. Griffith lost his stick. Gets pumped right on goal. Save. And on the rebound, CB Self scores. It's Slobodrian. After a broken play, it finally falls for the Titans. Joey Slobodrian's first of the tournament gets the Titans on the scoreboard. A mess out in front of the net, and eventually the puck swims right to Slobodrian, who bangs it into the open twine. And finally, it's the Titans on the scoreboard as they're able to cash in. So certainly they'll be looking to work off the momentum of finally getting on the board here. Still time to work with 12.24 left in regulation time. Remick's pass intercepted. Though Rosen follows up and lifts one in on the backhand into the attacking zone. Boyertown settles in in the tan uniforms here today as have Rilla. Keeps the play alive for Rose, and he's checked by Mendham. He may have a breakaway. Mendham trying to get away, but getting back is Remick to disrupt the play. Turned it over to Montagna. Throws it off a body. Out to Step, who keeps the zone for the Titans. Shuffles it around the boards. Bieber closes in on Mendham as eventually the Bears clear out to neutral. Linso flings one, trying to dump it in, but eventually hits a Boyertown defender. 3-1, Bears have the lead as Griffith holds on to this. Eleven twenty-eight left in period number three. It's a three-one lead for Boyertown here in round two of the Double A bracket of the 2024 Flyers Cup, sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Titans have the puck. A feed for Lindenmuth off the mark. Icing the call. Well, there was a challenge on the Westchester East side of things on rink one here at Ice Line. It was 1-0 East. It was then tied, but Nolan Schemmer has given the Vikings the reigning single-A bracket champions a 2-1 lead. Here's Slobodrian, he's the goal scorer. Picks up Lindenmuth, driving in, and his shot is swallowed up. Griffith at the top of the blue holds on. Lindenmuth was not given a lot of net to shoot at. Keep it 3-1 Boyertown. Tie up for the draw, and here's McGuffin. Ryan McGuffin will get the legs moving through center. Try to poke it along and get to his own puck. He'll chip in and chase right in after it. And engages back in below the goal line. Support comes out to the line. Ebersol feeds it across. Rister on net. Napolitano the save. And nothing further on the rebound. Round two of the double A bracket. Well, Westchester East has uh, thrown the gauntlet. They're now up 3-1 on a goal by, I would probably venture to say the longest name in the Flyers Cup, Chase Kunsaknarath gets the goal. And they now have the lead over on rink one. All of the games that are happening right now being streamed exclusively here on the 2024 Flyers Cup YouTube channel. Up 
couple of good keeps by the stick of Dylan Remick, and he'll tie it in below the goal line. Titans get to the puck and will bash this out to center. Jax Drost in control. In and around the boards, Cutter steps up and keeps the play alive for CB South. They are finally on the board. Joey Slobodry in the goal. Tapped around, Herring. Shooting tipped. Out it comes to J.D. Crouch. He'll settle into one. And Griffith deflects that over top of the net in the Boyertown crease. Transitioning is Logan Brown. He got the scoring started with a shorthanded tally. He'll dump it in. Crouch evades his four checking as Boyertown changes up here. Brought in transition. Here come the Titans again. Wrist shot. Blocker save made by Griffith. It took the stick out of his hands. Can the Titans make something of it? Griffith's stick is in the corner. McGuffin run into by Kvetcher. All the pressure right now for the Titans. It's centered out in front. Ebersole defending. Round will go. It hits Griffith's errant stick. It's turned over. Waldron has it. Let's it go. It's blocked out to Linso. Steps into it. Again muted in front. Kvetcher to the rebound. Big scramble right now in the Boyertown defensive zone. Linso at the point. Sends it. D to D. Step. Holding onto it. Dusts it off and shoots. Blocked. Second effort. Lifted wide. Opportunity to clear, and that's basically what Boyertown wanted to do. They ice it, and there's no penalty in icing it here. Boyertown can change up off of an icing. Eight fifteen to go, third period, three one Boyertown. CB South answering Boyertown's early goal here in the third period. It's a two-goal lead for the number three seed in the second round of the double-A bracket. Ryan McGuffin watched by Slobodrian. Banked around to have Rilla holding on to the puck, and he's able to get it to center. Fry sends it right back in as Boyertown... We'll press it back out the rest of the way down. Race on for this. Havrilla will beat out the icing. He'll get there first. Tied up by step, but help comes. It's centered to Weston Bieber. And he couldn't get the shot away as Remick is roughed up by Slobodrian as Boyertown contests the puck deep in Titans territory. Remick shooting. Pad stop made Napolitano, and the rebound is sent wide. Linso to the rebound. He'll go to D to D, step. Now Linden move. And he wires it in on goal. No problem. For the Boyertown goaltender, Tyler Griffith, he'll hold on to it. Get a whistle, a stoppage, and a faceoff in the Bears' end of the ice. Herring from the point on a face-off win for the Titans. Floats it wide. Got to be full court press here if you're a basketball fan for CB South to try and get something, though. Here come the Bears, and they score on a odd man rush. It's punched home by Hennessy. Luke Hennessy's first of the tournament, 4-1 Boyertown. Durstein and Cotillo will end up with the assist on the goal. A nifty piece of business right there, and that pretty much puts this game out of reach. Strong game again for Bryce Durstein, who moves up ice again. Durstein cuts into the middle. Drops it off to Remick, throws it on goal. Napolitano the save, kicked out to the point. And a slapper coming from Dylan Remick went wide of the goal. Held by Lucas Remick. Here on the right wing side, it's eventually cleared into the Titans bench. And now the deficit is a steep one here for CB South, the number six seed 
in the double-A bracket of the Flyers' Cup. Six thirty-one to go, third period, four-one. Boyer Town, the number three seed. Two goals here in the final frame of regulation time. Whoa, <laughs> just barely icing as that just squeaked by the post here on this near side. So a face-off back in the Titans' end of the ice. Coming up, back half of this doubleheader. It is Hershey and Springfield. The Trojans looking to head back to the Flyers' Cup championship game and come away with hardware this time. Lots of familiar faces on that Hershey Trojans team from last year. Really, the main difference is in goal. Here's a steal. At the point, Linso. He had room to shoot, and he missed it wide on the blocker side. Puck held in by the Titans, though Bieber with good work defensively. And cleared out by Bologna. Brought by Linso. The Titans re-enter the attacking zone, down by a trio. Shot, stick save made by Griffith. Banked off the boards by Bieber. That heads out as now we have a whistle, and we're going to have coincidental minor penalties here. A little bit of rough stuff behind the play. That's Logan Hood for the Titans. And Brandon Cotillo for cross-checking. Five minutes, 41 seconds left here in this third period of round two of the 2024 Flyers Cup Double A. Fry wins the faceoff. Herring got it through traffic. And another save for Tyler Griffith. Remains five on five out of the coincidental liner cross checking penalties. McGuffin tied up by Lindenmuth. Puck on near side. Fry arrives, keeps it alive. Durstein getting the puck out for Boyertown. Races on. Hennessy there with support coming from Durstein. Poked free and behind the CB South net with 5.10 to go. Closing time here in this one. McGuffin. D to D. Ebersole. Races into the attacking zone. Throws it in on goal. Napolitano guides that into the corner. As the Titans need to press, they need three to tie and send this to overtime. Though it's Cotillo setting up a man. A save, Napolitano, and the rebound is cleared. This is going to be icing here as we have a broken stick in the CB South end of the ice. Hope they kept the receipt. Linso on to step. Drives into the attacking zone. Let's it go. A stick save. Made by the Bears goaltender Griffith. Out at the point. Linso again. Another save. Make it a second as he lunges to the blocker side. The net is, or the puck is on the netting and behind the goal. And so the whistle immediately stops play as we have some pushing and shoving. Can't say they've been without their opportunities here tonight for the Titans. Goaltending from Tyler Griffith, who again this season has kept his goals against average below two, has been a major reason why this game has stayed at this point as Linso with a headhunter. That missed the net, but not by much. Dros clears it out for the Boyertown Bears with four minutes to play here in regulation. Montagna bump set for Colin Mendham. Couldn't make his way through the traffic. 
Backhanded by Remick, not out. Step holds in. Mendham on right side. Centers one into the middle. Cutter couldn't get it towards the net. Jack Strohs turns it back in a three on two, content to dump it in. And it was before center red, so an unforced error ends up as an icing. Oh, man. Unionville will not die. It is a 3-3 game with a minute left in the third period. Westchester East looks like they're going to overtime in the first round of the single-A bracket. Uh-oh. Here's Remick. Into the attacking zone, shooting one. That's off of the end wall. Sorry, that's the second round. Unionville had to win just to get to the second round, and it was a bye for Westchester East. Here's Durstein right to the front, and a Palatano, a nice kick out save. Long lead pass. It was Slobodrian ahead of the field, icing the call. That goal, by the way, by Unionville's Alex Tomasevich came with just 31 seconds left in the third period of a tie game at three. Council Rock South, easy winners over Cherokee, seven to one. Here, though, there's 2.45 left. Last call. Here for the Titans, here in the Flyers' Cup. Griffith sets things up. Ebersole in control of things. Ebersole in the backhand will lift this out to center and back into the Titans' end of the ice. Floated to an open wing, nobody home. And when McGuffin and Ebersole are on the ice, all is well for Boyertown, the top defensive pair. For the number three seed is Bieber. We'll snap this puck in. Two minutes, 10 seconds left. Regulation time in the second round matchup. Step around the boards. Rosen closing in. Holds on to that. Keeping the Titans tied up in their own zone here. Ahead for Linden Mook. He's tied up by Ebersole. And these are key minutes here. Rosen steps up. On the left wing side for the Bears. Drives in behind the Titans net and will keep it around the perimeter. Into the high slot, Rosen. Snaps it by Cutter. Keeps on a second effort attempt to get out of the zone. Linso content to clear out. 90 seconds left in regulation. 4-1 Boyertown. Montagna able to escape. McGuffin in control for the Bears with 1.10 to go. And McGuffin will rip this up and out of play into the Bears bench with some pace. Well, I've had my computer hit by a puck before. I thankfully have not. Saw my life flash before my eyes there for a second. Lovatan, our uh, producer, was, uh, he'd be the first in line here in front of me from that angle. I apologize for sprinkling some reality on you there. But such is life. 40 seconds left in regulation here as the Titans move through center. Cotillo, a nice defensive play as it's worked back down. And an icing call here. And the Titans have not pulled the goaltender, so 
It looks like Boyertown will move on to the third round to take on Council Rock South in the semifinal. As they took care of business easy over Cherokee. Centering pass, Slobodrian couldn't get it through on second effort off the side of the net. 18 seconds left in regulation time. Herring back in his own zone for the Titans. D to D and ahead for Slobodrian. Entering in quickly, checked by Remick. Five seconds left. Here's Logan Brown with one more look at the net. Throws it back across the ice. That's not going to matter. It is Boyertown who will head to the third round of the Flyers' Cup. And they have themselves a date with Council Rock South in round three on March 14th, next Thursday. Special teams, the difference in this one, two shorthanded goals and a power play goal for the Bears, and the number three seed marches on into the 2024 Flyers Cup. So it is going to be one heck of a matchup between Boyertown and Council Rock South in the third round of Double A. Of course, you have been tuned in to the 2024 Flyers Cup, sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. For everyone here, Jordan Kuhn signing off here for this one. Coming up here on the AAA sheet is our second game of the night, a single-A bracket matchup between reigning single-A finalist Hershey and Springfield. 4-1 the final. This broadcast is presented by the Flyers Cup and SFBN, who own all broadcast rights. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this game, including social media, is strictly prohibited.